What's up guys, it's your boy Keep It Real MMA. Uh, I wanted to make this video last night, but it was like three in the morning and I got work not too long after this. So I wanted to just make a quick video. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk about um, the next video is going to be on Cyril Garn versus Tai Tuivasa specifically. But this one's on Robert Whitaker versus Marvin Vittori specifically. Now, all I want to say is, right, Robert, obviously Robert Whitaker defended his middleweight title against Vittori. I don't give a fuck what any of you say. I'm done with the bullshit. Whitaker beat Adesanya 3-2. Simple as, there's no, there's no, I could see why you could give that, no, there is no strong evidence to point anything that, uh, that, um, I got the remote there just in case, because it, it kind of falls all the time. But yeah, there's, there's no evidence to show that Adesanya won round two, four, or five. He clearly won round one because he dropped, he was winning the round and he dropped Whitaker. It's a very strong 10 9. Whitaker clearly won the second round based off of damage. It's a damage based sport. He clearly won. Round three, Adesanya won because nothing happened. Whitaker couldn't really land anything. And Adesanya just leg kicked the range like a little bitch and he won the round. Round four, Whitaker clearly, I've watched the fight so many times. I've seen the Weasel break it down. I've seen MMA Guru break it down. I've seen so many people break it down and give Robert the win because I know how to score a fight and they know how to score a fight. Clearly. And round four, Whitaker pressured him, got a couple of takedowns, attempted submissions, got a, you know, snapped Adesanya's head back a lot with a jab, out jabbed the guy with a massive reach advantage over him. Whitaker clearly won that round. Round five, Whitaker pressured Adesanya even more, got him up against the cage and landed decent shots. Whitaker clearly won rounds two, four, and five. There's no debate. Simple as, they, there's no way you can edge your way around it or say, I can see, I can see where they're giving. No. It's a strap robbery, 3-2. But obviously, he was stuck in a situation where he shouldn't even have to fight Vittori, but he did. And look at what he did to Vittori. Wobbled Vittori multiple times in that fight. Second and third round, wobbled him multiple times. That shattered his eye. Fucking broke his nose, must have, because he was bleeding like fuck. And honestly, what an impressive performance. And like, this is not the shit on Adesanya, but he shouldn't be the champion right now. I'm just being honest. I'm keeping real MMA for a reason. I'm going to keep it real. Adesanya should not be champion. He lost that second fight. It was a robbery. Biggest robbery of 2022. Clearly. And the thing is, right, like, it gets me angry because it's not even because I'm just a fan of Whitaker. It's literally, I like objective fights scored. I've picked plenty of people that I wanted to win and got a robbery win. And I've advocated that they should have lost even though I'm fans of them and I wanted them to win and I picked them to win. You know what I mean? So if I can be objective in the people that I like, then other people should be able to too. Simple as, there's no excuse for it. And Whitaker won. So yeah, um, but obviously Adesanya got a bigger test, well not a bigger test, I'm not about, uh, sorry. Whitaker should be champ, he is the biggest test he won. Because uh, I think Whitaker would beat Pereira, but Adesanya got a different type of test in Pereira. I am picking Pereira in that one objectively but yeah so anyway back on the topic of Whitaker. Whitaker did very well against Vittori and honestly bro I he is the best middleweight on, on the planet easily um the way the way that he was bouncing in and out and he did exactly what I said he was gonna do he did the exact same thing to Vittori like he did to Kelvin Gaslim um go back on my videos and watch my fight breakdown of him versus Kelvin Gaslim and I was explaining in these terms this is exactly what he's gonna do to Vittori because Vittori is a slower bigger version of Kelvin Gaslim and that's exactly what Whitaker done he couldn't touch Whitaker first round was very close but not as close as people think. Whitaker very heavily outlanded him. And then after that, um, second round with second and third round, Whitaker just completely took over and just brutalized Vittori. Had Vittori panicking, like he landed a head kick. Vittori was like wide eyed, like looking at him, like panicking. And when he had him down, like, you know, because you couldn't hear him because he was down, like Vittori was staying down on purpose, putting his hand out, like, like as if he was cowering, like he was prey. Like that's how bad Whitaker had him, man. Like, Whitaker seriously makes people realise that they're not that good or talented. Whitaker seriously psychologically fucks with these people. Like, Kelvin Gaslam came out after the fight against Whitaker and said, I've never felt like that before. I, f I feel like I honestly don't belong. That's how bad Whitaker... Um, and I can see it fucking falling. But yeah, that's how bad Whitaker beat Kelvin Gaslam. And the thing is, like, people don't understand how psychologically he beats people. And... The only person he wasn't really able to do that to is obviously Adesanya and uh, Yo Yoel Romero. And it's crazy how out of all of those killers that he's fought, Uriah Hall, 
Brad Tavares, Jackery Souza when Jackery Souza was in his prime, Derek Brunson, a younger Derek Brunson, you know that didn't gas out after round one, and could take and could take more shots than he can now. Let's just say, Jared Cannonier. Kelvin Gaslam, Darren Till, and now Vittori. The way that he makes them question themselves and the way he makes them second guess and psychologically be frustrated with him is crazy to me. Like, Whitaker is the best middleweight on planet Earth right now. Pound for pound skill wise, he deserves to be on the pound for pound list. He should be on there right now. Take Figueredo off, take Brandon Moreno off. Hell, take Pure Dayan off of it. There's no way in God's green earth that Pure Dayan has a better legacy than Robert Whitaker right now. No chance. Robert Whitaker's a former champion, should be the champ right now, and is beaten every single contender other than Adesanya, which he objectively beat in the second fight. So so take these bums, they're not bums, obviously, you know, but take these dickheads off the pound for pound list, especially Moreno. At least Moreno, take Moreno off. At least. Because Whitaker should be on it and Colby should be on it. Put Whitaker at 14, Colby at 15. Easy. These these guys shouldn't be on it. Piotr Jan should be on it. Moreno shouldn't be on it. Figueredo shouldn't even be on it. Aljamain shouldn't really be on it either. But, you know, it is what it is. But Dustin Poirier shouldn't really be on it either. Who's Dustin beat? That's deserving to be that high up on the pound for pound list. Like, I'd, I'd be fine if he was like really low down like 12 13 but he's like i swear he's higher than that last time i checked he was like seven or eight like he beat mcgregor twice a mcgregor that wasn't on the pound for pound list he beat justin gaethje who's not on the pound for pound list he beat tony ferg no no he hadn't beaten tony ferg never for him um who else has he beaten really that deserves to be on the pound for pound list eddie alvarez wasn't on the pound for pound list so i don't know man and i don't know if anybody deserves to be number one, it is Volkanovski. Volkanovski beat Max Holloway three times. And Max Holloway is high up there because Max Holloway did beat Jose Aldo twice. So, yeah. Um, but I... Um, yeah, so Whitaker needs to get on there. Um, next move for Whitaker. Um, I don't think it's right if you give him Costa. Because after seeing Costa's last performance... Don't get me wrong, I fucking love Costa. I'm a huge fan of his and his and his Twitter account. I fucking love Costa. I love the way he fights. I love the way he brings it. I don't see him beating uh, uh, fuck, fucking Whitaker in any shape, way or form. I don't see him beating Whitaker at all. I really don't. Especially after that performance against Luke Rockall, bro. I he struggled. I do not see him beating Whitaker at all. Whitaker's just too good, bro. He's the best middleweight on earth. He's too good. He's too good skill wise, pound for pound. Like, the most skillful middleweight in the world. It, he, pound for pound, bro. And the thing is, is like, I just don't see Costa really doing anything to him. I don't. Um, but you could give him Costa, or you give him the winner of Pereira and Adesanya, which I think it will be Pereira. And uh, if you guys are a follower of the channel, I said this on my card breakdown that... Um, Essentially, I don't like one fight win streak wins, but if it's a robbery or any dodgy decision in any kind of way, if they get one win in the top five or the top ten, I will happily give them. I will happily allow them to have a title shot. Whitaker done that because he got robbed in the fight and got a win over the number two contender. He deserves the title shot, in my opinion. Uh, after you know Pereira has his title shot, I believe Pereira will win, so it'll be a fresh matchup for uh, Whitaker anyway. But if Adesanya does pull it off somehow by like kicking at range like a bitch. Um, then I see I will pick Whitaker in that trilogy, even though the judges are going to try and fix it. But Whitaker, he's improving rapidly. He's younger than Adesanya too, and the way that he's improving is crazy to me. His improvements are mad. Ever since that Till fight, he's been unstoppable. I know Kananiya did wobble him in the third a little bit, but that was about it, man. Who else is dropping Kananiya like that, with a head kick like that? Jeremy, who's doing that to Kananiya, bro? Nobody's doing that to Kananiya. Who... Who is making, who is making Kelvin Gaslam question his 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 future on fighting at the top of the middleweight division? Nobody else is doing that. Adesanya went to a razor close decision to him up until that fifth round where he dropped him twice. Do you know what I mean? Who's who's making Vittori stop being delusional? Because don't forget, right? I I will admit, 
right? Adesanya clearly won the first two fights against Vittori. Clearly, right? But there was still an arg... But in Vittori's head, because he didn't get beat that bad, he thought that he won. He was delusional to think, enough to think that he won. Whitaker beat Vittori so bad, Vittori knew for a fucking fact he didn't win that fight. He knew. Um, somebody translated when he stole the mic just to talk to the Italian fans when he was saying sorry and stuff. When he took the mic to say sorry, some Italian guy translated and said that Vittori said, I'm sorry to the Italian fans. He's so fucking good. I couldn't do anything to him. I couldn't touch him. I'm so sorry. He's just too good. And even Jason, you could see the mouthing of Jason Herzog and uh, Vittori, you know, as, you know, ready to raise the hands. Um, they were talking to each other and Jason was like, yo, head up, you, you'd be good. Like, and Vittori was looking at him like, he's so good. And so if Whitaker is beating Adesanya, didn't beat Vittori like that. I'm just saying nobody's ever made Vittori feel like that, except for Whitaker. Whitaker's so good, man. I'm picking him in the trilogy. Beautiful performance, man, honestly. He's rapidly improving, and I'm looking forward to his next fight. I hope Adesanya wins now, just so he can get that robbery decision back. But I think Pereira will win, so it'll be a fresh matchup for Whitaker. And do I think Whitaker will beat Pereira? Yes, I do. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.